The year was 2357. Humanity had long been considered a minor player in the galactic community, known for their ingenuity and resourcefulness, but deemed weak in comparison to the more advanced alien species that inhabited the cosmos. Their planet, known as Earth, was located on the fringes of the known territories, often overshadowed by the achievements of other civilizations. It was on a routine scouting mission near the outskirts of the Milky Way galaxy that the Zarnarians, a highly advanced alien species, first encountered the humans. Their long-range scanners had picked up unusual readings coming from a small blue planet that seemed to be teeming with life. Intrigued, the Zarnarians dispatched a reconnaissance ship to investigate further. As the Zarnarian ship entered Earth's orbit, its sensors detected a signal emanating from the planet's surface. It was a distress call, transmitted in a language that the Zarnarians had never encountered before. Curious, they began to decipher the message, only to be taken aback by its contents. The distress call spoke of an impending invasion by a hostile alien force known as the Krell. The humans were desperate for help, their voices tinged with fear and uncertainty. The Zarnarians, renowned for their benevolence and sense of justice, could not ignore the plea for aid. Commander Kallax, the leader of the Zarnarian reconnaissance team, knew that they had to act swiftly. Despite the Council's initial reservations about intervening in the affairs of a seemingly inferior species, Kallax was determined to offer assistance to the humans. The Zarnarian ship descended towards the planet's surface, its sleek metallic hull casting a gleaming reflection against the azure sky. As it landed in a clearing near a sprawling metropolis, the humans gathered around in awe and wonder, their expressions a mix of fear and hope. Stepping out of the ship, Commander Kallax was greeted by a delegation of human officials, their faces a mixture of astonishment and gratitude. One of them, a woman named Dr. Eleanor Carter, stepped forward to address the Zarnarian commander. We are eternally grateful for your timely intervention, Dr. Carter said, her voice trembling with emotion. The Krell are ruthless invaders, and we would not have stood a chance against them without your help. Kallax nodded solemnly, his multifaceted eyes scanning the horizon for any signs of the approaching enemy fleet. We are here to assist you in any way we can, he reassured the humans. But first, we must understand the nature of your foe. Tell us everything you know about the Krell. And so, as the sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows across the alien landscape, the humans began to recount their harrowing tale of survival against a relentless enemy that seemed unstoppable. Little did they know that the Zarnarians had a surprise of their own, a weapon of unimaginable power that would turn the tide of the impending conflict. The stage was set for a showdown between two vastly different civilizations, where the fate of Earth would be decided by the courage and resilience of its inhabitants. As the night grew darker and the stars twinkled overhead, a sense of anticipation hung in the air, along with the distant rumble of approaching warships. Humanity may have been considered weak by the galaxy at large, but unbeknownst to all, they possessed a secret weapon that would soon make the universe reconsider their place in the cosmos, a weapon known simply as a tank. As the night wore on, a tense atmosphere settled over the human settlement, mingling with the anticipation of impending conflict. Commander Kallax of the Zarnarians stood alongside Dr. Eleanor Carter and her team, deep in conversation as they discussed strategies to defend against the looming threat of the Krell invasion. Dr. Carter led Kallax to a heavily guarded military facility on the outskirts of the city. As they approached, the air buzzed with activity, Soldiers scurrying about in a flurry of preparation under the dim glow of floodlights. The sound of clanking metal and distant shouts filled the night air, punctuated by the occasional roar of an engine. They reached a secure underground chamber, where a group of scientists and engineers were huddled around a massive metal structure draped in a tarp. With a sense of urgency, Dr. Carter motioned for the tarp to be removed, revealing the awe-inspiring sight of the human tank. The tank stood tall and imposing, its armoured plating gleaming in the artificial light. It was a marvel of human engineering, 
equipped with state-of-the-art weaponry and advanced defensive systems that dwarfed anything the Zarnarians had ever seen. Kallax couldn't help but be impressed by the sheer power and capabilities of this war machine. This is our last line of defense against the Krell, Dr. Carter explained, her voice filled with determination. With this tank, we stand a fighting chance to protect our planet and our people. Kallax surveyed the tank with a mix of admiration and curiosity. In his many years of exploring the galaxy, he had never seen a weapon quite like this. A machine designed for the sole purpose of destruction and defense. It was a testament to the resilience and ingenuity of humanity, a species that refused to be underestimated. This is indeed a formidable weapon, Kallax remarked, his crystalline eyes reflecting the image of the tank. But will it be enough to repel the Krell invaders? They are a ruthless and technologically advanced foe. Dr. Carter nodded grimly. We know the odds are stacked against us, but we will fight with everything we have. Our people are counting on us to protect them, and we will not let them down. With a resolute expression, Kallax extended a clawed hand towards Dr. Carter. Then let us stand together in the face of adversity, he declared. The Zarnarians will fight alongside you, for we believe in the strength and valor of humanity. And so, as the first light of dawn began to creep over the horizon, casting a golden hue over the horizon, the alliance between humans and Zarnarians was forged in the crucible of war. The fate of Earth now lay in the hands of its defenders, united in their determination to repel the imminent threat and safeguard their home. As the distant rumble of the approaching Krell warships grew louder, they knew that the final battle was fast approaching. The stage was set for a clash of civilizations, where the outcome would determine not just the fate of Earth, but the very fabric of the galaxy itself. Humanity may have once been considered weak by the galaxy, but as the tank stood silent sentinel in the heart of the city, a symbol of defiance and strength, the universe would soon learn the true extent of their resilience and bravery. The battle for Earth had begun, and nothing would ever be the same again. As the sun rose over the horizon, casting a warm glow over the war-torn landscape, the forces of humanity and the Arnarians stood ready for the impending battle against the Krell invaders. The air crackled with tension, the quiet before the storm as both sides prepared for the confrontation that would decide the fate of Earth. Commander Kallax and Dr. Carter surveyed the field from a strategic vantage point, overlooking the city that lay sprawled beneath them. The Zarnarian warships hovered menacingly in the sky, their sleek hulls shimmering in the morning light, while the human defenders mobilized their forces in a show of unity and resolve. We must be prepared for anything, Kallax cautioned, his gaze intense as he scanned the horizon for any sign of the approaching Krell fleet. The Krell are known for their ruthless tactics and advanced technology. We cannot underestimate them. Dr. Carter nodded in agreement, her expression stoic. We will stand together, united against our common enemy. Earth is our home, and we will defend it at all costs. As the moment of truth drew near, a sudden tremor rippled through the ground, followed by a deafening roar that echoed through the city streets. The Krell had arrived, their warships descending from the sky with a formidable presence that sent shivers down the spines of all who witnessed their arrival. The Krell fleet consisted of sleek, menacing vessels armed to the teeth, with powerful weapons and advanced shielding technology. They outnumbered the combined forces of humanity and the Zarnarians, their intent clear, to conquer Earth and subjugate its inhabitants under their merciless rule. Without hesitation, the Zarnarian warships moved into position, unleashing a barrage of energy blasts that streaked across the sky towards the Krell fleet. The humans, emboldened by the sight of their alien allies in action, followed suit, their ground-based defenses springing into action as they engaged the enemy with fervor. Amidst the chaos and destruction, the human tank stood as a beacon of hope and defiance, its weapons blazing as it rolled forward to meet the advancing Krell forces head-on. The ground shook beneath its treads, the thunderous roar of its cannons drowning out the sound of battle as it unleashed a devastating assault upon the enemy. 
The Krell, caught off guard by the tenacity and ferocity of their opponents, faltered in the face of the combined human and Zarnarian resistance. Wave after wave of enemy fighters fell before the relentless onslaught, their ranks decimated by the sheer force of their adversaries. In a desperate bid to turn the tide, the Krell unleashed their most devastating weapon, a massive energy cannon mounted on their flagship that loomed ominously over the battlefield. The weapon glowed with malevolent power, primed to unleash a devastating blast that would decimate everything in its path. As the energy cannon charged, a sense of dread swept over the defenders, their hearts pounding with fear and uncertainty. But in that moment of peril, a sudden flash of light streaked across the sky, heralding the arrival of a daring Zarnarian pilot who had managed to disable the enemy cannon with a daring maneuver. With the threat neutralized, the defenders pressed their advantage, rallying behind the human tank as it led the charge against the faltering Krell forces. The battle raged on, a symphony of chaos and destruction that echoed across the battlefield, but through sheer determination and unity, humanity and the Zarnarians emerged victorious. As the last remnants of the Krell fleet retreated into the depths of space, defeated and broken, a sense of triumph and relief washed over the defenders. Earth had been saved, its people united in a bond forged through the crucible of war. Commander Kallax and Dr. Carter embraced amidst the ruins of the battlefield, their gazes meeting in a shared moment of silent understanding and respect. The alliance between their two species had proven to be a force to be reckoned with, a beacon of hope that shone bright in the darkness of the cosmos. And so, as the dust settled and the sun dipped below the horizon, painting the sky in hues of orange and gold, the defenders of Earth stood victorious, their spirits unbroken and their resolve unwavering. The battle may have been won, but the war for humanity's place in the galaxy had only just begun. In the aftermath of the decisive victory against the Krell invasion, the defenders of Earth and their Zarnarian allies stood amidst the ruins of the battlefield, surveying the scene with a mixture of relief and sadness. The cost of war was evident in the wreckage and debris that littered the once thriving city, a stark reminder of the sacrifices made in the fight for survival. Despite the destruction, a sense of unity and camaraderie prevailed among the survivors, both human and Zarnarian, as they worked tirelessly to rebuild and recover from the devastation wrought by the conflict. The bond forged in battle had only strengthened in the crucible of war, bridging the gap between their two species and fostering a newfound sense of mutual respect and friendship. Commander Kallax and Dr. Carter stood side by side, their gazes fixed on the horizon as they contemplated the challenges that lay ahead for their respective peoples. The Zarnarians, once distant observers of humanity's struggles, now found themselves deeply entwined in the affairs of Earth, bound by a shared sense of duty and kinship. We have faced a formidable enemy and emerged victorious, Kallax remarked, his voice tinged with pride. But the scars of war run deep, and the wounds inflicted upon this world will take time to heal. Carter nodded in agreement, her expression somber. We have proven that when we stand together, united in our common cause, we are capable of overcoming even the greatest of threats. The alliance between our two species has shown the galaxy that humanity is not to be underestimated. As the days passed and the city began to rebuild, tales of the heroic defense against the Krell invasion spread far and wide, captivating the imaginations of beings across the galaxy. Humanity, once considered a minor player in the cosmic tapestry, had now earned a place of respect and admiration among their interstellar peers, their resilience and valor, a source of inspiration to all. The Zarnarians, for their part, remained by Earth's side, offering their support and guidance as the planet recovered from the ravages of war. Together, humans and Zarnarians worked hand in hand to rebuild their shattered world, laying the foundations for a future built on cooperation and understanding. As the city rose from the ashes, a sense of hope permeated the air, infusing the hearts of all who called Earth home with a renewed sense of purpose and determination. 
The scars of war may have left their mark, but they served as a testament to the strength and resolve of those who had fought to defend their world. And so, as the sun set on the horizon, casting a warm glow over the rejuvenated cityscape, humanity and the Zarnarians stood united in their shared triumph, ready to face whatever challenges the future held with unwavering resolve and fortitude. The bond forged in battle had withstood the ultimate test, paving the way for a new era of cooperation and friendship among the stars. Months had passed since the victory over the Krell invasion, and Earth had begun to heal from the scars of war. The city once reduced to rubble was now a bustling hub of activity, its streets teeming with life and energy as the sounds of reconstruction filled the air. Humanity and the Zarnarians worked side by side, their friendship deepening as they collaborated on projects aimed at revitalizing the planet. Dr. Elena Carter, now hailed as a hero among her people, stood on a balcony overlooking the city, a sense of pride swelling within her chest. The alliance with the Zarnarians had not only saved Earth from destruction, but had also forged a lasting bond between their two species, a bond that transcended differences and united them in a shared vision for the future. Commander Kallax joined her, his gaze fixed on the horizon as the first light of dawn broke over the cityscape. The victory we achieved together has brought our peoples closer than ever before, he remarked, his voice filled with a sense of optimism. The bond we share is a testament to the strength of unity and cooperation. Dr. Carter nodded in agreement, a smile playing at the corners of her lips. The alliance between humanity and the Zarnarians has opened up new possibilities for our future. Together, we can face any challenge that comes our way, united in our determination to build a better world for all. As they watched the city come to life beneath them, a sudden commotion erupted in the streets below. A group of children, both human and Zarnarian, had gathered in a makeshift playground, their laughter mingling with the sounds of joy and camaraderie. It was a simple yet powerful symbol of the newfound harmony between their two species, a harmony born from the crucible of war. The future belongs to these children, Kallax remarked, his gaze softening as he watched the scene unfold below. It is our duty to ensure that they inherit a world built on peace and understanding, where the lessons of the past guide us towards a brighter tomorrow. Dr. Carter smiled, her heart brimming with hope for the future. Together, humanity and the Arnarians will forge a new path, one rooted in cooperation, respect and mutual support. Our alliance may have been born out of necessity, but it will endure as a beacon of unity for generations to come. As the sun rose higher in the sky, casting a warm glow over the city, the echoes of the past began to fade, replaced by a sense of renewal and optimism. The alliance between humanity and the Zarnarians had proven that even in the darkest of times, unity and compassion could prevail, paving the way for a future where all beings could thrive in harmony and peace. And so, as the city embraced the dawn of a new day, with the promise of a brighter tomorrow glimmering on the horizon, humanity and the Zarnarians stood united, ready to face the challenges and opportunities that lay ahead. The bond forged in the fires of war had blossomed into a friendship that would endure for lifetimes to come. A friendship built on trust, respect, and a shared vision of a better future for all. Months turned into years, and the alliance between humanity and the Zarnarians flourished, becoming a shining example of interspecies cooperation and friendship in the galaxy. The echoes of the Krell invasion had faded into memory, replaced by a shared commitment to building a better future for all beings. In a monumental display of unity, a grand galactic summit was convened, bringing together representatives from across the cosmos to discuss matters of peace, cooperation, and interstellar diplomacy. Earth, once a fledgling planet on the outskirts of known space, 
now stood as a beacon of hope and progress, its transformation a testament to the resilience and courage of its people. Dr. Elena Carter and Commander Kallax represented their respective species at the summit, their presence a symbol of the enduring bond forged in the crucible of war. The gathering was held on a neutral world, a shining hub of diversity and culture, where beings from all corners of the galaxy came together in a spirit of unity and understanding. As the delegates assembled in the Grand Hall, with its towering spires and holographic displays shimmering in the ambient light, a sense of anticipation hung in the air. The fate of the galaxy lay in the hands of its diverse inhabitants, each species bringing their unique perspectives and experiences to the table. Dr. Carter stepped forward, her voice clear and resolute as she addressed the assembly. We stand here today as representatives of our species, united in our commitment to a future where cooperation and understanding prevail over conflict and discord. The bonds we have forged through hardship and triumph have shown us the power of unity in the face of adversity. Commander Kallax followed, his words echoing with a sense of wisdom and humility. The alliance between humanity and the Zarnarians is a testament to the potential for peace and cooperation among all beings in the galaxy. Together, we have overcome insurmountable odds, proving that when we stand united, we are capable of achieving greatness. As the summit unfolded, discussions ranged from matters of trade and diplomacy to cultural exchanges and scientific cooperation. Alliances were forged, treaties signed, and friendships formed, laying the groundwork for a more harmonious and interconnected galaxy where diversity was celebrated and differences embraced. Amidst the bustling negotiations and lively debates, a sense of camaraderie and mutual respect blossomed among the delegates, transcending the boundaries of space and time. The seeds of a new era of cooperation had been sown, their roots planted in the lessons learned from the past and the shared vision of a brighter future for all. And so, as the galactic summit came to a close, with promises of continued collaboration and understanding echoing through the halls, humanity and the Zarnarians stood shoulder to shoulder, their friendship a shining example of what could be achieved through unity and compassion. The galaxy had taken a step towards a more peaceful and prosperous future, guided by the lessons learned from the alliance born in the fires of war. As the delegates departed, each to their respective corners of the cosmos, a sense of hope and optimism filled the air, carrying the echoes of the galactic summit's message of unity and cooperation far and wide. The journey towards peace and understanding was ongoing, but with the bonds forged between Earth and the Zarnarians leading the way, the galaxy was poised for a new era of harmony and progress. Years had passed since the Galactic Summit, and the alliance between humanity and the Zarnarians had continued to thrive, fostering a new era of cooperation and understanding among the diverse species of the galaxy. Earth had become a beacon of progress and innovation, its people working hand in hand with their interstellar allies to explore the vast reaches of space and unravel the mysteries of the cosmos. Dr. Elena Carter, now an ambassador for Earth, stood on the deck of a state-of-the-art spacecraft, its sleek lines cutting through the darkness of space as it embarked on a historic mission to the far reaches of the galaxy. Beside her stood Commander Kallax, his presence a reminder of the enduring friendship between their two species and the journey they had undertaken together. We stand at the threshold of a new frontier, where the wonders of the universe await us, Dr. Carter remarked, her eyes alight with excitement. Together, Humanity and the Zarnarians will venture into the unknown, united in our quest for knowledge and discovery. Commander Kallax nodded, his gaze fixed on the endless expanse of stars that twinkled in the vastness of space. Our alliance has shown the galaxy the power of cooperation and understanding, he replied. As we journey onwards, let us continue to explore, learn, and grow together, forging a path towards a brighter future for all beings. As the spacecraft surged forward into the depths of space, leaving behind the familiar sights of home, a sense of awe and wonder filled the hearts of all aboard. The crew, a diverse mix of humans and Zarnarians, 
worked in harmony, their shared experiences and perspectives enriching their journey as they charted a course through the uncharted territories of the galaxy. Their mission took them to distant star systems and alien worlds, each more captivating and mysterious than the last. They encountered new species, forged new alliances, and delved into the secrets of the cosmos, unlocking the mysteries of the universe one discovery at a time. Amidst the wonders of their exploration, the crew bore witness to the beauty and diversity of the galaxy, marveling at the intricacies of life and the vastness of space. Their journey was not just a voyage of discovery, but a testament to the power of unity and cooperation in the face of the unknown. As they traversed the final frontier, Earth and the Zarnarians stood as beacons of hope and progress, their alliance a guiding light for all beings in the galaxy. The bond they had forged in the fires of conflict had transcended time and space, leading them on a shared path towards a future where peace and understanding reigned supreme. And so, as the spacecraft continued its journey through the unending expanse of the cosmos, Earth and the Zarnarians embarked on a mission that would shape the destiny of the galaxy and lay the foundation for a new era of unity and exploration. The final frontier beckoned, its mysteries waiting to be unraveled by the alliance born from the stars themselves, a testament to the infinite possibilities that lay ahead for all who dared to dream and reach for the stars. As the spacecraft ventured deeper into the uncharted territories of the galaxy, humanity and the Zarnarians found themselves on a journey of discovery that would forever change their understanding of the universe. Together, they explored alien worlds, encountered new civilizations, and forged alliances with beings from distant corners of the cosmos, their shared experiences binding them closer in a tapestry of unity and understanding. Dr. Elena Carter and Commander Kallax stood at the forefront of this monumental expedition, guiding their crew through the wonders and challenges of space exploration with wisdom and compassion. Their alliance had become a beacon of hope and progress, inspiring countless beings across the galaxy to strive for cooperation and harmony in the face of the unknown. As the spacecraft arrived in a star system teeming with life and energy, the crew marveled at the vibrant diversity of the alien civilization that inhabited the planets within. Tall spires and shimmering structures dotted the landscape, a testament to the advanced technology and culture of the beings who called this system home. The inhabitants of this star system welcomed the Earthlings and Zarnarians with open arms, their faces alight with curiosity and wonder at the arrival of their interstellar guests. Through a shared language of gestures and expressions, they communicated their desire for friendship and cooperation, sparking a dialogue that transcended linguistic barriers and cultural differences. Dr. Carter and Commander Kallax engaged in discussions with the alien leaders, exchanging knowledge and ideas that enriched their understanding of the universe and its myriad complexities. Through this cultural exchange, they forged bonds of friendship that bridged the vast distances between their worlds, paving the way for a future built on mutual respect and cooperation. As they delved deeper into the mysteries of the star system, the crew uncovered ancient artifacts and technologies that shed light on the history and evolution of the local civilization. They marveled at the ingenuity and creativity of the beings who had come before, their legacy a testament to the boundless potential of intelligent life in the cosmos. Through their interactions with the alien species, humanity and the Zarnarians learned valuable lessons about empathy, tolerance, and the power of unity in the face of diversity. They embraced the differences that defined each civilization, celebrating the unique qualities that made each species special and valuable in the grand tapestry of the cosmos. And so, as the spacecraft prepared to depart the star system, leaving behind a legacy of friendship and understanding, Earth and the Zarnarians stood united in their shared vision of a galaxy where all beings could coexist in harmony and peace. The unity they had forged through their journey into the unknown had become a shining example for all who gazed upon the boundless expanse of the cosmos, a testament to the power of cooperation and mutual respect in shaping the destiny of life among the stars.
With the malevolent force vanquished and the galaxy once again bathed in the light of peace and unity, the Vexorian Human Alliance and their allies returned home as heroes. News of their victory spread like wildfire, inspiring hope and courage in the hearts of beings across the cosmos. The symphony of destiny they had played together resonated far and wide, a melody of triumph that echoed through the stars. In the aftermath of the Alliance's epic triumph, celebrations erupted on planets once gripped by fear and uncertainty. Festivals were held, songs of gratitude were sung, and monuments were raised in honor of the brave warriors who had stood together in the face of darkness. Captain Sarah Kane and the Vexorian High Council, their bonds of camaraderie stronger than ever, worked tirelessly to solidify the newfound peace and cooperation among the galaxy's disparate species. Together, they established a Council of Unity, a governing body where representatives from all corners of the galaxy could come together to forge a harmonious future for all. Under the Council's guidance, trade flourished, technology advanced, and cultural exchanges thrived, knitting the galaxy ever closer in a tapestry of shared knowledge and understanding. The lessons learned from the Alliance's trials and triumphs became the foundation upon which a future of peace and prosperity was built. As the years passed, the Alliance members continued to stand united, their voices raised not in song of battle, but in a chorus of progress and cooperation. Together, they explored the far reaches of the galaxy, encountering new civilizations and sharing the wisdom they had gained from their experiences. The Vexorians, humans and their allies, became known as emissaries of peace, their story passed down through the generations as a parable of courage, unity, and the enduring power of harmony. They were hailed as architects of a new age, where conflict was resolved through dialogue, differences were celebrated, and the galaxy prospered in the light of shared prosperity. And so, as the suns set on a galaxy united in harmony, the Alliance members looked to the future with optimism and hope, knowing that as long as they stood together, bound by the values of unity and cooperation, there was nothing they could not achieve. The symphony of destiny they had played together had woven a tapestry of peace and unity that would endure for all time, a testament to the boundless potential of beings when they worked together toward a common goal. And thus ends the tale of the Vexorian Human Alliance, a story of courage, friendship, and the transformative power of unity in the face of adversity. The galaxy stood as a testament to their legacy, a shining beacon of hope in a universe filled with endless possibilities.